So recently I started playing Factorio again, and while I was playing the other day I was curious how realistic the chemistry is in the crafting recipes. It must be simplified somewhat, right? So I opened up my chemistry book, and I checked, and uh, looking, f starting with sulfuric acid, we all know that sulfuric acid in Factorio uses sulfur, iron, and water. Just iron plates, specifically. But in real life, looking at this textbook, we can see that sulfuric acid is made through a, something called the contact process. This involves burning sulfur to create sulfur dioxide, then converting it into sulfur trioxide using a catalyst, typically vanadium oxide. Finally, you would absorb that sulfur trioxide into water to create the final product. As we can see, the final chemical formula, but in real life, the iron plates don't typically play a role, but water and sulfur do. But you might have known that I noticed that I said typically, right? That's because instead of vanadium oxide, you can use iron oxide, which is also known as rust, but it's less efficient. So while the core idea is there, it misses a few steps that you would normally go through, and it uses a less efficient recipe. Um, it's interesting to see that it was pretty, pretty accurate and balanced and I just I'm, I'm surprised that they managed to do that pretty well all right moving on to the second item the second item I chose I was gonna look, wanted to look at plastic now for plastic here we can see that it's we know that it's combined with it's just petroleum gas and coal combined together in a chemical plant but in real life Plastic is primarily created with hydrocarbons, organic compounds made of only hydrogen and carbon atoms. These can be found in crude oil, natural gas, and coal. Through a process called polymerization, these hydrocarbons can be turned into polymers, which is the basic component of plastic. So the game does use petroleum gas and coal, which both have hydrocarbons in them, but it's probably less efficient than what we do in real life as we mostly use uh, oil and like the last recipe it also f skips a few steps and it simples it down to something that's more manageable in average gameplay now going to explosives in real life or not in real life but in factorio they were created with sulfur coal and water but this isn't exactly how they're made in real life based on the ingredients we can assume that the Factorio devs base this recipe off the black powder. Unfortunately this is not all of the ingredients required. In some mining explosives similar components are mixed with additional oxidizers like nitrate compounds to produce a controlled explosion. Water is commonly used when creating black powder to stop it from accidentally lighting during production. And sulfur is used to bring down the lighting temperature. Factorial simplifies this process into merging the, the process of merging the materials, but also misses a core ingredient. So while it's not a one-to-one -one match, it gets the job up, down, done, and it's quite close to what you expect to see. So yeah, what we notice out of these three recipes is that they're missing efficiency, both in the quality of materials and the output. Uh, but and one of them is missing a ingredient. They are missing steps as well. And it's not surprising, after all, Factorio is in a perfect simulation. The game is meant to be enjoyable over, over being realistic, and it's supposed to be accessible to new players, and because of that, it may lack some accuracy. But it does still do an impressive job of introducing players to complex chemical reactions without overwhelming them. So next time you are building your factory in Factorio, take a moment to appreciate the real world science behind what you're automating. Who knows, it could inspire you to dive deeper into your favorite science and learn something new. Until next time, the factory must grow.